come back. I don't know what the hell happened. I was in the middle of re reviewing this film, Children of the Corn, my favorite, one of my favorite horror films of all time. I was in the middle of it, and all of a sudden, my computer stopped recording. So what I'm gonna do, because I really can't be fucked to re-review it again. You know, that was like a 10 minute, I was doing that for 10 minutes. This is why I, I struggle to review movies because if something happens in the middle of my review, I have to do it all over again. I just don't want to do that. So I'm just going to do it in two full parts. You know, well, not two. F I'm going to do it in two separate videos. That'll be, that's part one. This will be part two. So what I was getting at, if you haven't seen the movie yet, uh, don't watch this. Don't watch this part. Because, ah, oh, fuck it. You know what? If you haven't seen it and you don't want to watch the review because you don't want anything spoiled, that's your choice. But the the end when they're burning down the cornfield, you know, um, um, Bert is just trying to, the, he's trying to burn down the cornfield to try to kill the monster. He who walks behind the rose. And Job is there helping him, they're spreading gasoline all over the place. And then just trying to fucking, you know, they get a bottle. They, 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 they burn the cornfield down. And the music, the intensity, the sound effects of the wind, it's just... It's outrageous. It's out there, man. It's just fucking crazy, you know? I apologize if this is not much of a, of a review because, hell, my fucking, you know, my camera fucked up on me. Just stopped recording halfway through and there's like two parts. And if I'm not really saying much, you know, I, I'll be honest, I sometimes struggle to explain things and because this movie is that good, I just can't say much. You know, just go and see it for yourself. But I think my my opinion is if you know if you want to know if a movie's any good or not, you don't have to hear details for details on a review. If the person's saying how good it is, then that's a good sign, you know. And if it's bad, if a movie's bad, just be honest. I'm not going to be all professional and say, "Oh, the movie was top notch." Oh, the music, the music is like four stars. Fuck that. Just be natural with yourself. As if you're having a conversation with someone. I'm going to stop bragging about that. Now, this film is definitely a classic. Check it out. That's all I can say. Number two, Children of the Corn 2, The Final Sacrifice, is a good sequel. It's set days after, at least I'm pretty sure it's days after the first one. And number three... That's okay. I don't hate the movie. I don't mind it at the same time. It's definitely, I'm, I'm assuming, because they're never really that clear on the movies. I'm assuming number three is set in the present year of 1994. I think that one came out. I'm not sure. Uh, Children of the Corn 4, The Gathering, has got fucking absolutely nothing to do with any of them. You know, when they when the kids refer to he, they're referring to this 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 kid that they're trying to bring back to life. They're not referring to he who walked behind the rose. Children of the Corn Five, Fields of Terror. Yes, it's kind of linked with the with the first three at least because it has got he who walks behind the rose mentioned. But it's more just a bloody side story. So just to kind of make money. So uh, it's a good sequel. I don't mind the one. I don't mind the film. But you know, it's not it's more of a side story don't bother with it you'd be better off just skipping to the you'd be better off just watching number one two and three skip number four and five and just go straight to number six isaac's return because isaac you know he's well that's the true sequel after number three it's all i'm saying number seven you can kiss my ass i hate that film i had to torture myself today and watched it and i'm like fuck you it's crap believe me but that one's more it's like it's involves like an old lady who was part of the the original corn cult before Isaac's cult existed, but still a shitty film. And the remake, I don't mind. And Genesis, I don't know if I want to watch that one. And apparently, there's another one coming out next year called Children of the Corn Runaway. How many more are they making? They're not having them linked to any of them anymore. They're just it's a franchise. They're just doing it for the money. They're slapping an innocent name like Children of the Corn into all these films that have nothing to do with any of them. They're just doing it for money. But, hell, what can I do about it? So I just sit on my ass and complain. Anyway, thanks for watching this review and I do apologise. I had to do two parts of this because the fucking 
recording just stopped on me and I'm not going to bloody re-talk about it again because I can't be fucked. You know, I just want to do a review, upload it and hopefully people enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Check out the movie. It's a classic.